This video is sponsored by PCBV company. More about them later. So if you are following my channel for a while, then you have noticed I generally use Arduino Uno, Arduino Nano or Arduino Pro Mini in most of my projects. But the size of this Arduino Pro Mini is even larger. If I'm creating uh, something which contains this OLED display, for example, a smartwatch project. So I decided to create my own development board, which is even smaller than the size of this Arduino Pro Mini. So I will share with you what are the issues I'm facing right now and the development of this board. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here are my PCBs of the development board and the size is really small and if I compare these PCBs with Arduino Pro Mini then the size of this PCB is almost the one third. And the thickness of this PCB is 1 mm. Then to program these development boards I decided and created my own programmer which is based on CH340C IC which is generally used and if you want to mount these uh, development board on a breadboard then I have also created these adapters you can directly solder your board on it and it also have a reset switch so before moving further let's talk about the sponsor of this video which is PCBW company. For instant quotation, add the dimensions, select the quantity, then select the thickness and select the number of layers and then hit cut now. So do visit their website, the link is provided in the description of this video. Now let's assemble our PCBs. So after soldering all the components, our board looks something like this. And all the components are perfectly soldered. So it's time to uh, assemble our PCBs of programmer. But here I found an issue in this PCB. To program my uh, development board, I ordered some pogo pins, which cost me somewhere around $10 for 10 pins. But the thickness or the diameter of these uh, pins is quite large as compared to the holes of the PCB. So I can't solder these pins on the PCB. So I decided to drop out these PCBs and design new PCB for this. So here is our uh, adapter PCB. Now let's assemble these PCBs. And the perfect way to solder this PCB is to mount it on a breadboard and then solder.
So you can hand solder these uh, development boards on its adapter using a fine tip soldering iron and here is how it will look uh, if you solder it. So thanks for watching guys. I hope you have learned something new and you have liked this project. If yes, then don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to support this project, then you can support us through PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description of this video. And I will see you in my next one.